Hi everyone, my name is Scott Jasky and I'm a filmmaker, YouTuber, and Dehancer user. In this video I will be demonstrating the Dehancer plugin for Final Cut Pro X and particularly how to download, install, activate, and deactivate the plugin, as well as how to update it. First, you will want to make sure your computer has the correct hardware requirements. It should be an Apple Macintosh, starting from middle 2012 with a metal-enabled GPU and an Intel or Apple Silicon processor. Due to a specific system bug, the plugin will not work on Intel Iris and HD graphics GPUs. Dehancer runs natively on Apple Silicon, and the respective version of the plugin will be installed automatically depending on your hardware. Your software should be Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or later with Final Cut Pro 10.5.4 or later. In this case, I'm running Ventura 13.4.1, and for Final Cut, I am running version 10.6.6, .6, so I should be in good shape. It should also be noted that Hackintosh and virtual machines are not supported. Now, let's set up Dehancer. After making sure your computer meets the system requirements for the plugin, download the latest version of the plugin from www.dehancer.com. Click the button Download and Get Free Trial. Select Final Cut Pro as the host application, and then select your desired Dehancer plugin. And now you can hit the download button and your download will start automatically. If your system doesn't automatically unzip the downloaded file, please do so. Next, you will run the installation file and click continue. After the installation steps, you should restart Final Cut Pro if it is already running. If you have a project or event open, you can click on the effects icon in the top right corner of the timeline. And in the effects tab, you can open the film emulation group and find Dehancer Pro or Dehancer Lite. From here, you can simply drag the effect onto the desired clip, or you can establish an adjustment layer above the clip and apply the effect to the adjustment layer. Now before you use the plugin, you will have to download film and camera profiles. This is an aspect of Dehancer that is fantastic, because it means that at any point at which you are using the plugin, you can refresh your film profiles and it will add the latest film profiles that Dehancer has added, ensuring that you are always up to date on the latest film stocks and profiles. If your profiles have not been downloaded, you will be prompted by the message, please update profiles when you try to select a profile. At the bottom of the Dehancer plugin settings, there is an options section, and you can click the check profiles button from here. The widget will open and the profiles will be automatically installed and downloaded. And now you are ready to start emulating your favorite film look. Although for now, a watermark will be overlaid. Now let's talk about activating your license. If you have not yet activated, you will experience a watermark for the trial version. In order to get rid of the watermark and activate the LUT generator, you will need the full Dehancer Pro license. First, you will need to purchase the license on the Dehancer website. Then you will receive the Dehancer license code directly to your email address. It will also be displayed in your user profile on Dehancer's website. Each license contains two activation keys for two seats that can be activated or deactivated independently, allowing for Dehancer to be installed on two of your machines. At the bottom of the plugin settings, find the options section and click the license info button. You will have two options of either to log in and select your license or enter the license key, which allows you to copy and paste the key from your email. If you choose to log in with your account, you will be presented with a list of licenses available for your product. I will log in. Now, if you choose this method of logging in, select the proper seat from the list and then press activate plugin. The alternative, as you saw, was to copy and paste the key from your email beneath the field that says activation key and click activate plugin. After completing of these steps, close out of the widget and restart Final Cut Pro. 
In the activation process, you must be connected to the internet and you cannot activate via beta licenses. You must start with the trial version. If in the future you sell your machine or migrate to a new system, make sure that you deactivate the plugin as we just showed you before doing so. Once you have performed these steps, you will be all set to start using your full license of Dehancer for Final Cut Pro X. And as you can see, the watermark is gone. Thank you for watching and please let the team at Dehancer know if you have any questions about Dehancer for Final Cut Pro X.